Today we will show you how to replace a battery in a Toshiba Satellite P50-A. The battery is housed inside the laptop case and it's only accessible by removing the bottom cover. However, it's not a difficult job and it only takes 10 to 15 minutes to complete. The only tools required are a size 1 Phillips screwdriver, a plastic spudger tool and a paper clip. The first step is to make sure the laptop is turned off and not connected to the AC adapter. The next step is to remove the DVD drive. To release the locking mechanism, poke an unfolded paper clip through the small hole in the DVD drive. Next, remove the two screws highlighted in red and set aside in a safe place. The only screw that's a different size to the others is the screw in the DVD housing. Make sure you keep this one separate to the others. All other screws are exactly the same size. Once you have removed the two Phillips screws holding the DVD drive in place, gently slide out the DVD and place to the side. Now remove the RAM door by removing one Phillips screw. Now it's time to remove the bottom cover. Start by removing the 10 Phillips screws holding the cover in place. Now using a plastic spudger tool, gently pry up the connector that connects the Ethernet port to the main board. Next, use the flat end of your spudger tool to gently pry open the clips holding the cover in place. Now it's time to remove the battery, which is held in place by two Phillips screws and connected to the main board by a fly lead connector. First up, remove the two Phillips screws. Now take the spudger tool and push out the connector. It requires a small amount of force, but make sure this force is directed horizontally and not upwards, otherwise it's possible to damage the motherboard connector. Now you can lift out the old battery and install your new battery. Once you've reassembled the laptop, make sure the first time you boot it, it's connected to AC power. Because if you try and boot directly from battery power, it won't work. You only have to boot from AC power once. After that, it will quite happily boot directly from battery power. And that's it. Thank you for watching.